Before we finalize the installation of the Veil framework, we have a few more steps required. One of those steps is to install PyCrypto. PyCrypto is a cryptography toolkit for Python. It allows us to encrypt functions in Python, and we do need to install this specific PyCrypto. To do that, the first thing we want to do is run the yum search option to find PyCrypto. So to do that, we type in yum search PyCrypto, which will show us the PyCrypto file that we need to install. That package is listed here. Now, it also tells us we can search all. So if I type in all here, it'll show us the different PyCrypto versions that we can then install. So I'll just copy this and let's install PyCrypto before we move on to the next step. The file is called python-crypto. So I've typed in yum install python-crypto and we'll wait for this file to be installed. Once this package has been installed, we can move on to the next step, which is installing Git. So let's just wait for this to all install OK. And the next step is to install Git. So to do that, we do the yum install again. So yum install Git, which will install the Git repository for us. And once we have the Git repository done, we can go to the GitHub website and install Veil. We will need to clone Veil. So let's just wait for this to complete. It's downloading and installing. Once we have the command prompt again, we can go to the GitHub website. You can search for GitHub and Veil framework, and that will give you the Veil framework link. I have a link opened here, so I'll just go to that link and we will see the command to clone Veil. Let's go there now. And here's the link. And if you look further down here, there's a quick install section. We can type in git clone. And I'll just copy this link. And what it will do is then clone Veil from this link. So just wait for this to install. Firstly, download and then install. It might take a little while. But what we've been able to do so far is have a CentOS 7 machine. We've done a yum update and installed all the latest repositories. We've then installed Python. We've then installed pip. And we've used pip to enable other modules. We are then able to install git. And we've also installed the PyCrypto to enable encryption of different Python functions. And now we are installing Veil. Now, once this has all installed, we can move on to the next step of actually customizing Veil and starting to use Veil to create different payloads and look at the different functions within Veil itself. Hopefully, you've been able to follow along with these examples by installing either a CentOS 7 machine and then you've gone on to create uh, the Python installation, the pip installation, then we've looked at the PyCrypto installation, and then we've looked at the GitHub repository installation. And finally, we've got the Veil installation in this lecture. So now, once this has all installed, and I'm just waiting for it to still download and install, once that has been done, we'll be able to move to the next step.